The Ten of Swords, it just feels like you're taking this hurt from all directions. I like to look at this card as kind of a lack of respect from the workplace to the home to a relationship to maybe even your children. You're feeling as though no one values Virgo for who they are. Welcome, my beautiful Virgos, to your bi-weekly love tarot reading. For those of you who are new, bienvenue. I am Black Bunny Tarot, aka Namaste with Lei. And for those returning, your continued support truly means the world to me. So let's dive right into this reading. I get the sense that it's going to be juicy. Let me remind you that this is a general love reading. So I do not expect all of the messages to resonate. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, you can find all of the info down below to book me for a private reading. And if the messages just aren't resonating, I do urge you to check your Venus and your moon signs to see if those readings may better resonate. It would not be right to not first. <sighs> Tap that heart chakra frequency to commence your love tarot reading. Spirit. Please show my beautiful Virgos what it is that they need to see. What messages, clarity, or guidance can you offer for my Leo or Leos? That was odd, my Virgos. Let's take since none flew out. Three from the top, two from the bottom. Wow, five cards here <clears throat> and three of them are major arcana. Let's dive into this. So first in your energy was none other than your energy, Virgo. Virgo energy here with the hanged man. So what this tells me is one, you could potentially be dealing with an air sign, spending an immense amount of time in their heads thinking about you. Or you, Virgo, may be the one spending a lot of time in your head recently, trying to weigh out the pros and cons of a relationship, um, a business matter, your current career, your profession. Um, Virgos, you, you strive for, for perfection. So I'm not surprised, although you're a grounded earth sign, that you're here in this hanged man energy, weighing out all of the benefits and the negatives. That's in true Virgo fashion. But for some of you, I'm getting that this is a, a deep reason as to why you're here. You may, you may be dealing with someone born on June 25th, Clear message from spirit, trust your gut when it comes to this person or this situation, okay? There's a reason you're spending an immense amount of time in your head. Something isn't settled right in your gut about this person, about this situation. And although you don't have the facts or the knowledge yet to see why you feel this way, know that it is going to come out. And that what you're feeling it's valid, Virgo, it's valid. And then next in your energy, the 10 of swords. This is feeling defeated, heartbroken, betrayed potentially, um, much like the three of swords. With the 10 of swords, it just feels like you're taking this hurt from all directions. I like to look at this card as kind of a lack of respect from the workplace to the home to a relationship to maybe even your children. You're feeling as though no one values Virgo for who they are. Some of you are getting ready to launch a video project at work. This whole situation may be over a video that was seen. All right, then next we had Major Arcana, the chariot big cancer energy here and 
which is odd because I brought up June 25th in this Virgo card, that's Cancer energy. So you may be dealing with a cancer, you may have strong cancer in your chart. And you'll notice on, on the armor here, there's two moons resting. Now, because there is a, a black and a white horse or a brown and a white horse here, I always think of polarities. This is the two sides, maybe your light side and your shadow side, battling for the forefront at this time. The chariot, however, is all green lights, just cruising full speed towards your destination, towards your goal, towards your dream, towards the love of your life. That's what the chariot is about. You see what you want and you're going full force ahead, full speed ahead. This is a great energy to have. This is you no longer being in that hanged man or hanged woman energy because you're going for what you want and you're out of your head. And not only do you go for what you want, but you receive what you want with this ace of pentacles here. In matters of business and finance around this time, you really can do no wrong. If it's a job that you've been wanting to leave or, or take a higher position, now is that time. Get out of that hanged man, hanged woman energy and go for the gold because you already have it, Virgo. This is really beautiful. And not only do you have or manifest what it is that you want, you also have the Magician, another major arcana energy here for you at this time. The Magician can make anything pop out of their hat. <laughs> the Magician has all of the resources available to them to get to that final destination. They have the pentacles, the swords, the cups, the wands, okay? Anything you want, Virgo, it's yours at this time. I'm just getting that energy. so. Get out of that stagnant what if and just go for it because it's going to work out for you. This can be increasing your finances. This can be taking on a global enterprise for some of you, dealing and networking with people um, who aren't in your home country. Some of you are big Prince fans. Others of you may be dealing with a Brie Some people either need to slow down on their alcoholic beverages or they're around someone who needs to slow down on their drinking. Some of you may, may have met your person standing near a bench or in a park. Very clear messages here. What I would like to do is just clarify this hanged man. So let's use the beautiful Mystic Mondays deck. If you're ever interested in any of the decks that I use, <clears throat> you can find all of those linked down below on my Amazon affiliates, as well as ways to donate to the channel. If the reading is resonating with you, of course, there's absolutely never any pressure to donate. Um, I also do extended readings as well as a three card love spread every Friday exclusively on my Patreon, which you can also sign up for below for as low as $3.33 a month. Spirit, can you clarify? Oh, something popped out. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're trying to get to the bag, Virgo. That's what's, that's what's on your mind, money. Money, a, a solid career in which you can be that leader, that analytical, logical leader that you were born to be. And it's all going to work out, okay? This is going to work out for you, the 10 of pentacles. And you know what's crazy? This popped up in Sagittarius's reading as well. So maybe some of you Virgos are dealing with a Sagittarius. All right, we're gonna end with a message from the Lover's Oracle. Go ahead and put your energy out into the universe about the message or clarity that you're wishing to receive with this deck. Spirit, please show my Virgos what it is that they need to see. You know, fly out so we'll take the one that was initially on the top here is this depiction on the front very much watery energy here 
Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. You must let go of resentment, Virgo. If that person did do something to upset you, that's what has you in your head here with the hanged woman. Just know once you move through this Ten of Swords energy, it's nothing but green lights, financial abundance, love, and wealth for you. That was truly a beautiful reading. I hope that these messages resonated and found you well, Virgo. Until next time. Namaste.